So here we are, right up close and personal with the tailgates at Lock 83. These are the gates that were lifted out and then modified in our workshop, brought back and have been lifted into place by my team and we're just part way through refitting them now. Just a couple of features I wanted to point it out to you. So here, the gate, this is called the heel post that runs vertically on the gate and it goes into the curved coin, the stone coin, and the gate pushing into the coin is what forms the seal in that location. Now on the bottom of this gate is a metal pin that we call a pintle and that sits into a cup or a pot in the floor of the lock and that's what makes the gate pivot so it can open into this recess, this stone recess. And the, the way that that's opened is by the use of the balance beam. So anyone bringing a boat in or out of the lock would be pushing on the balance beam to open and close the gate. Also on this sort of gate, you get a paddle on the gate and that's the way that you would, when the lock's full of water, drain that lock and allow a boat to come from the high level to the low level and then get through the, the gates and out into the rest of the downstream part of the canal. And then here, where the gates come together, this is a really important area that needs to be sealed. And this is one of the real specialist jobs that our teams on site do. So the gates come together and they never fit perfectly. And what we have to do, we have to pass a special saw vertically from top to bottom numerous times. On some gates, if the fit's not very good, it might be 20 passes uh, to basically what we call saw gate and bring those gates together to form a really tight seal. Each of these leaves, as we call them, um, weigh about three tons, but then you add on to that the weight of the balance beam on top, which is a, the device used to open and close the gates, and all the metal gear in, and you're probably talking about a gate individually that weighs about three and a half tons, so they are big, substantial things. And obviously they're doing a lot of hard work in the lock chamber, holding almost five meters of water back. They, they have to deal with a lot of pressure in all weathers. So really amazing, uh, amazing historical things. Mm -hmm. 